In this video, we're going to prove the following fact. Any integer of the form 8n plus 1 is composite if n is at least 1. Well, I hope it's clear that if n is less than 0, then 8 to the n uh, will be positive but between 0 and 1 and when you add 1 to all sides you get 1 is between 8n plus 1 and 2. This is not an integer. Okay, That is why we don't allow negative n's. If n is the number 1 you get 8 to the 1 plus Sorry, if n is 0, you get 8 to the 0 plus 1, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2, which is an integer, but it's not composite. It's prime. So this is why the theorem doesn't include those type of numbers. But now we need to prove that this is composite if n is 1 or more. Okay, if you like proofs like this, if you like seeing proofs like this, subscribe to my channel. That's all we do here. And now watch this beautiful proof. 8 to the n plus 1 is the same as 2 cubed to the n plus 1 which is the same as 2 to the n cubed plus 1. But I'm going to think of the 1 as 1 cubed. Oh, we have our sum of cubes. That's going to factor to 2 to the n plus 1 times 2 to the n squared minus the product of those two plus the 1 squared. Now, this certainly looks like is composite. I wrote this as a product of two integers. But keep in mind, if this is 1 and this is some other number, c, I didn't write this as a product of this doesn't have, this will not be composite, at least not the way I'm showing it. None of these can be 1. None of those can be 1. Okay, well, let's look at the first one. We know that 2 to the n is always, always positive for any n, whether it's bigger than 1 or not. So when I add 1, I get that 2 to the n plus 1 is always bigger than 1. Beautiful. Now, we need to show that this is also not equal to 1. We don't want it equal to 1. Now, 2, two n is some integer, because n is an integer. 2 to an integer is an integer. Like I just said, 2 to the integer is an integer, and 1 is clearly an integer. And when you add and subtract integers, you get an integer. So this is an integer. Even if it's negative, it, it's okay. It's an integer. So I just need to show that this is not 1. That is 2 to the 2n minus 2 to the n is 1. Because we 0 equals 0. Because we all know that 0 plus 1 is 1. So you don't want this to be 0. Keep in mind that 2 to the n is bigger than 0. So I can divide by 2 to the n. So I, I get 2 to the n minus 1 is equal to 0. But what does that tell me? That tells me that 2 to the n is equal to 1. 
but this implies that n is 0. So I don't want to get 0. I don't want 2 to the n to be 1, which means I don't want n to be 0. But that's okay, because n is at least 1. Okay, n is at least 1. Okay, so let's recap what we have. a to the n plus 1 is 2 to the n plus 1 times 2 to the 2n minus 2 to the n plus 1. And or as though these are both integers, this one is not equal to 1 if n is 1 or more. And this one is not equal to 1 if n is 1 or more. So I wrote this here as a product of two integers where neither of them was 1. That means a to the n plus 1 is composite. This line above implies that 8n plus 1 is composite. I guess I should also say they're not 1, but they're in the integers. This completes this proof. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. That's all we do here, or show proofs of theorems and lemmas and consequences. See you guys in the next video. Watch and learn.